Today I'm going to show you how to build a surface in Civil 3D out of metric source data and then how to convert that surface into Imperial so that the contour elevations can be displayed in feet. Okay, so let's get started. Moving into Equator to source the elevation data. Here's my site. It's in Texas, close to Austin, and I'm going to be extracting a digital elevation model, DEM, in GeoTIFF format. When you export from Equator, you also get this data export and quality report sent to your email. This includes information about the EPSG code that you can just take and drop into epsg.io to learn more about it. So in this particular case, we know it's a metric system, along with other important information that allows us to set up our Civil 3D drawing. So first, we're going to open up AutoCAD Civil 3D in metric, and we are going to right click on the drawing name click on edit drawing settings so that we can actually set up the right coordinate system in the file. So I'm just um, scrolling down to UTM NAT83 datum and now under available coordinate systems I'm looking for zone 14 uh, in metric. Zone 14 north in metric. Okay let's see here there it is. Okay so selecting it and then I'm going to apply that to my drawing click OK and then the next step would be to actually set up the surface and import the data so under prospector you're gonna right click on surfaces create surface make sure tin surface is selected hit OK and then open up all of the menus until you see definition you're looking for DEM files you can click add navigate to the location of where you downloaded the DEM to um, mine is in TIFF format, so I've just changed it and selected the file there. Hit OK, and then your DEM will be imported and your surface created. Here it is. Just to show you that it's landed in the right location, under geolocation, I can turn on the actual map aerial and see that my contours, my surface, have landed right in the exact spot I wanted them to. So to get the surface into Imperial units, you're just going to right click on it and click on export to land XML. Uh, make sure that your surface is checked here. It should default to that selection and then hit OK. So the next phase in the process, we're going to open up Civil 3D in Imperial units and then set up the drawing um, in the same way we did at the beginning. Make sure the drawing units are in feet. Um, select the projection, so we're using UTM, and then in the available coordinate reference system, we're, we're basically going to select the same one except with feet. Um, so zone 14 north, feet, apply, hit OK, and now our drawing has been set up. At the top, you can click on import land XML and select the file that you saved previously. Uh, all the defaults that are checked should be fine. Just hit OK and it's going to import that surface while at the same time converting it into Imperial units. So once again, I'm going to open up the geolocation tab and turn on the map aerial just to make sure that my surface has landed in the right spot. And as you can see, it's worked out beautifully. Um, everything is lined up. And if I hover over my surface, you can see now the elevations are actually displaying in feet. So that's perfect. I'm very happy with that. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.